Welcome to the Coach's Corner. My name is Christian Olson, and I'm one of the FileMaker coaches here at Richard Carlton Consulting. For this Coach's Corner tip, I'm going to demo a technique that I've used frequently. This topic will touch on subjects such as custom functions, global variables, and return delimited lists. What it allows is for multiple selections in a pop-up menu, like this. So you can see, instead of being limited to the single item as we normal are, normally are, I can add items. Over here is just a list view of this, and I can go in and take those items off. I've used this for many customer solutions to solve a variety of needs. In this version, I have built the technique into a custom function so that it can be copied and pasted into any solution and added with ease. Normally, this would all be done through scripting. So what is a custom function? Custom functions are functions that you can build or add into FileMaker using FileMaker Pro Advanced. Any version of FileMaker can use custom functions if it's already been added. If you have FileMaker Pro Advanced, you can copy and paste my custom function into your solution. And just a quick rebrief for most people, functions are those items and scripts, things like list, pattern count, and whatnot. So up here under File, Manage, Custom Functions, there is my custom function. And feel free to take the demo file and take a peek at how that works. But there are two parts here. And the other one ties into global variables. And so I have a single script in here that's important. And what it does is it needs to remember the list as it is before we do a selection. And so I take those list of items and I save them into this global variable, the double double dollar sign list. Global variables, if you're not familiar, save per user per session. And so this script and function can be run by many people at the same time on different fields. The other thing that we need to do is go into manage database and set a calculated value for the field that we are adjusting. So if I go into manage database, there's my single field in my database. And you'll notice that it has an auto calculation replace existing field. It's really important that you leave this checkbox unchecked. So we go in here to specify calculated value. And drop down, if you notice from before, is my custom function. When you call drop down, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you for a field and a list. The list is your global variable that remembers where you're at, and your field is what you're affecting. And when all is said and done, it's what allows you to come in here and select many different items into a single pop-up menu. That will conclude the Coach's Corner. If you have any questions or are interested in the coaching program, please send an email to support at rcconsulting.com. If you want to learn more about portals and scripts, check out our training video courses at learningfilemaker.com and make sure you grab a copy of our fully unlocked solution, fmstartingpoint.com. Thank you and have a great day.